All right, this is Sheets, and we're going to update the uh, progress of the MMA lottery contest uh, through four rat, four fights. And I'll tell you, uh, it's going to be extremely difficult to gauge how anybody's doing because of the scores so far. So no one has put up a score that I consider a lock for optimal, not even remotely. Um, and we still have, what's his name, Dennis Tolulian with 61 in a loss that might be good enough. The one thing that we do have is Sam Hughes, who who has a win as an underdog at 81. So I guess what we can do, and and, Gu, and Kutaladze, definitely busted. So let's see if we're live here. So we want no Kutaladze. We definitely want no Bedoya. Uh, we're, I, I think at this point we have to say no Dumas, right? And obviously we have to say no due to Kova. Um, can we say no Herbert yet? Well, I mean, what, what does he have? I mean, Herbert has 85, where Dumas has 84. You want to leave Herbert in for now? I mean, who else can we definitely get rid of here? Um, well, definitely. What's his name? The guy just lost. Uh, what's his name? Um, he looked good for a while, by the way. Um, Justin, uh, or Jordan Vucenich. Let's see. Well, let's see if we include Hughes as optimal for now, right? H how many of those do we have with none of those other people? All right. So we have a couple, we have five. Five lineups with Hughes and nobody else. Okay. And all these guys bust. Now let's just say for the, for the hell of it that we want, do we have any full fades here? Well, that, that way we could actually figure out pretty quickly because I want, if we have any lineups with, uh, with zero in them, uh, then that's, uh, then we could figure that out. But let's see. Do we have any zeros? Let's see. MMA uh, fantasy points. Yeah, we actually do. We have two, three, I mean, not many, but four, five, six. I'm just scrolling down the right side here. So we have six lineups that have just are clean. You know, we've been through four fights and we have nobody. And that, that could end up winning. Okay. But I think that the Hughes one is starting to look pretty good. You know, listen, another big underdog can come in, but this one is uh, the Hughes one is starting to feel like like optimal. So with that said, what are we kind of rooting on here for the next couple of fights? Let's uh, let's take a look and then we'll do another. We'll, we will definitely um, update later. So we have Gaziev versus Mays. Now of these lineups, we have one Dontel Mays. Um, no, two Dante Mazes and no Gaziev's. So of all the Sam Hughes lineups that don't have any of these, we have zero Gaziev, two Mazes, and and the rest uh, um fades. And let me just for the hell of it, pull up the lineups with zero fantasy points and see what they what they're rooting for here. If they have anything from this fight, I have, I could pull these up, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six. What we can do is let's go here. Let's just take with no hues either. So no hues, no Dudakova. So we're missing four fights, right? So we're no Herbert. And then obviously no Bedoya. Wait, we have no Bedoya, but who am I missing? Uh, and, and let's say no to so none of anybody. If I have none of anybody, it's these six lineups, one, two, three, four, five, six. In those, I have uh, one Gaziev, <laughs> um, one Maze, and then some Fades. No, two Mazes and some Fades. So I guess that Gaziev would be the worst result of this upcoming fight, I suppose. Um, so I guess that's the update for now. Uh, we will, uh, 
I'll come back after a couple more fights if I if I have time.